So in this video, we're going to look in the possibilities, of, furthermore, of using Deluge with the resampling technique. So you'll see my template I have here. I'm just going to come up with maybe two different variations. And I'm just going to show you how I'm going to use an effects unit. I'm using an Adventide H9 to change the sounds of what we have running through here. And then we're going to sequence it. And from there, you can kind of see all the potential of what you can do here in terms of writing songs and laying out tracks the way you want them. Okay, so I made two little tracks there, and what I want to do now is send them through my effects. So what I'm going to do is find some interesting effects, and then we're going to resample it. Now resampling again is holding down record and then pressing play, and then pressing it again before the end of the bar. So when I change it, it's going to be the longest track at the end of that, then it'll stop. So now we're going to play around with some effects, and then once we find something we want, we're going to resample it. And then we're going to find another effect, resample that. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is compose it from there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the last track here. I'm going to duplicate the line in. We're going to switch the color over here. So this track, what I'm going to do is clear it. We're going to make a new kit. Now when we do that, you're going to hear the samples. So we're going to start off with the first one. And we're just going to extend the track here by pressing shift and then pressing the left and right knob. We're going to go all the way over to the left and we put in the track here. Now what we're going to do is load the next one. And then the next. And so on. Okay, so now those are all drawn in here. So now what we can do is just play it back. So now what we can do, let's say we, we want to add something over all of this, this entire section that we created. We can do that as well. And then just record that over on top of all of this. So in a way, you can kind of create a song, create a structure, make a whole new section, and then build up from there. And then on top of that, you can keep building. So this is one way you can do this. What you can do also, you could just do layer by layer. You can do all sorts of different things, vocals, guitars. If you have like a looper, like the previous episode, you can do all sorts of things with this. And then when you're done, you can actually go in the arranger and just start arranging it together.